morning, Billy. A uh, quick demo video for you for your Saber Forge vein. Um, as you know, I got this done yesterday morning. It's installed a Profi. Um, you've got a two button setup. So your front switch or your front switch here will be your auxiliary and your back switch will be your activation on this guy. Um, I did go ahead and leave your blade plug in so that I could show you it has some nice shine through. And then how you get to everything is you just want to unscrew the pommel. Uh, only place on this Saber that comes off We'll take that out. You'll see your speaker here. Just pull it right out. It's a 28 millimeter Smuggler's Outpost Elite speaker. And then, of course, it's in its own speaker pod. So when you look at this, you'll see a micro Dean connector on one side. And then the hole in the middle is for your, your kill key in your recharge port. So there's clearance there. And then there's a small locating peg right here um, to line up. With the hole that you see in the in the chassis right there it just helps you align that micro dean connector when you're plugging this back in and that's what uh your chassis looks like right so you got your profi board easy access to your micro usb and your sd card and then of course that micro dean connector and then you've got your kill key right here so just reach in pull it right out and then come over here and line up your speaker and plug it in uh, it's not hard to do once you do it a few times you'll get it just it's it's just that easy and come over here and throw your pummel on. All right, pummel will lock everything down. So we can come over here and hit activation. Nice shine through in your blade plug and in your windows. Super loud. Tap to turn it off. And I got the two sound fonts on here that you sent me. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this blade plug out real quick. The blade plug is just uh, the tiniest bit tight. It does come out. Uh, it doesn't just fall out though. So you might want to do just a little bit of sanding on this guy. So it kind of just falls out into your hand. And then this takes a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. All right, so we'll throw a blade in here. You've got CC sabers in here for your lit PCB. So these do light up, obviously. Right? Super bright. Put our blade in here, lock it down. Blade retention is right here. Flash on flash. If you want blade lock up, hold down auxiliary and hit the saber. Hit blade lock up. And you move up and down the blade until you let go of it. And then you get to your other sound font, just hit auxiliary. This is the Ronin and Bandit sound fonts from Kyberphonic. Last of all, just tapping. So you can hear how loud that is. Sorry, to get to your soundtrack, it, it's a long press on the power. Another long press to turn it off. Just like that. You can change colors if you want. Just hold down Ox and hit power. You hear that. And then you can just turn the saber and find whatever color you want. So if you want a green, find a nice green, hit power. Oops, hit power. You hear that noise. So when you turn back on, you've got that color. Just like that. So this thing is uh, screaming loud. Go ahead and take this blade out real quick. I'm going to throw your blade plug in while I'm sitting here thinking about it so I don't forget it. Sometimes I do forget these and then I have to send them out separately. Um, 
So we'll just take care of that right now. But anyway, when you're all done, take the pummel off. See your speaker again, pull it out. And then we can insert our kill key. So if I were to turn this on, you see it on until I put the kill key in. Cuts it off just like it should. And then we can come back over here and line up your speaker. There's enough clearance in the speaker pod to accept that kill key so everything still fits in when you're not using it. All right. And that is basically your Saber Forge Bane. Um, let me know if you got any questions. And if not, I'll get this out first thing Monday morning. All right. Thanks, man.